Hi, my name is Ivan. I am uh, still focused on Ethereum projects. And today I would like uh, to discuss the present and the future, future projects, and how future communities are going to unite uh, to chase their common goals. It has been said today about all the various projects. I'd like to remind those of you who may have missed something what kind of projects exist on uh, Ethereum platform. It's financial platform in the first place. Why? Mostly uh, because transactions at this platform are pretty uh, expensive. You cannot uh, place your chat there or games. However, for for financial people, this platform is very uh, convenient. And the first Ethereum-based app is Uniswap. What's that? Uh, it's a kind of exchange through which you can carry out transactions, exchange your tokens for other tokens, maintain your liquidity, and do all the other things that are important and relevant for uh, the finance industry. Unlike uh, the other uh, systems based on order books where uh, you place your uh, requests. Uniswap is based on liquidity pools where uh, holders can place their tokens and the community supplies the platform with coins uh, and um, getting fees for a coin exchange. On top of being the most popular one, uh, this project also holds the biggest share of Ethereum. 30% account for one Uniswap, Merova. Many exchanges use it. Another popular project is OpenSea. It's the most popular NFT. We need to manage it. We need to sell it and buy it. In fact, it's an uh, NFT marketplace. It supports other networks as well. It's the most popular and uh, it's still uh, in the position of monopolist on this market. Another one is CryptoKitties. It is an NFT project, uh, which uh, first emerged even before the NFT hype. In addition to buying a kitty, uh, you uh, can also uh, marry those kitties in order to uh, get kittens. Uh, well, in which way uh, you can earn, and uh, it was proven by the fact that uh, this project did fly. At the previous presentation, you heard about borrowing and uh, crediting based on Ethereum. One of the companies doing that is compound. Uh, you uh, can uh, invest your money or pledge your money uh, in order to get a credit. You can use your money as a guarantee or collateral. Uh, what differs AVI from uh, Compound? AVI is yet another uh, popular protocol which allows borrowing tokens or lending tokens. Uh, well, it's for those who really need that. AVI uh, supports a financial transaction which just cannot exist in the real world. It's fast borrowing. Let's assume you have just one transaction performed in a single block. It's carried out instantly, without any collateral, you can borrow. For example, one million dollars. AV will uh, grant you this loan, but the point is that paying back, uh, you will uh, need to pay a fee, uh, which means one million uh, two hundred thousand, for example. Uh, which means that we are expected to earn at any other exchange. Well, only in this case will the transaction be valid. Otherwise, the first line, even the first line based on which you were granted this uh, loan, uh, is not going to uh, be executed. Uh, important player is the aggregator. Yeah. 
have pancakes and swaps and many other exchanges. This one, it analyzes uh, all your transactions what you exchange and for what uh, to find you uh, the best trader and the best prices, the best exchange rates. Everything is done for you on your behalf. There is another and even more interesting concept that has been said already about finance and other things. But it's worth mentioning that in blockchain all the transactions are sequential. For example, you have a block with chance transaction, uh, user A wants to send money to user B, and uh, everything will be done uh, top to bottom. Uh, what does it imply? Let me remind you. Anyone uh, can look into a transaction even before it's written into a block. You've heard a lot about the validator. Let's assume I'm a validator. Saying like this, I validate transactions. I see this one. User A is sending $5,000 uh, to uh, user B, and then uh, they receive 10000 Quite interesting. I engage in testing. Uh, can't I send five to get 10 in exchange as well? Why shouldn't I earn money? I can just copycat this transaction, but I can execute it even earlier uh, than the actual originator does. How does it work? Prior to going to blockchain, uh, the transaction goes to a certain area where it's validated. Only after that, it finds itself in blockchain. Therefore, anyone with access to the nodes, any validator, uh, can identify the most efficient transactions. This should be prevented. How does it work? We have a list of nodes with all the validators, but there are also those that uh, can yield information to you even faster. Uh, you pay to services such as Flashbots to provide you with transaction data uh, earlier uh, than this information reaches other people. You see a profitable transaction, copycat it, you pay more, but you execute it faster uh, than uh, the originator. It means that uh, you steal transactions, and this is a huge problem, and everyone uh, uses this bot. Now uh, let's get back to a non-financial uh, system concept. And so, uh, on top of NFT and uh, regular tokens, there is another uh, concept called DAO, which stands for a Decentralized Autonomous Organization. I can give you an example to illustrate this definition. In fact, it's a community. But before we engage in it, uh, let's consider an example. Uh, let's order a pizza. Uh, can you tell me what kind of pizza would you like to order? Pepperoni. Okay, let's order pepperoni. How about you, margarita? Four cheeses. So we have pepperoni, margarita, and four cheeses. And we have three people, three persons, and three different opinions. There is just one problem. Uh, well, uh, the three of you can only order one pizza. How are you going to sort it out? You can either insist on your option, or you can go for trade-off by voting, or uh, you can give up the idea uh, to order a pizza. Well, supposedly uh, you opted for voting, and voted for uh, well, it asks you uh, to order the pizza, and it's only one person who can actually order it by sending money. So you have to appoint someone who you will trust. But are you in a position to trust each other? You are three people who are even not acquainted. You don't see each other, and probably you will never ever see each other. How to solve this dilemma? Only DAO, DAO can help you. This system has a number of advantages. First line, 
Uh, everyone in this uh, circle are equals, and they don't need to trust each other, which is based on contracts. Let me remind you, a smart contract is a piece of code like any other code. The point is that it uh, is based on a public structure. How does it work? You are a uh, DAO team and you want uh, to execute a smart contract comprising all the logic and algorithm and it's based on this algorithm uh, that the decisions will be made with voting. For instance, you have a project. And in order to decide its future, you launch voting, and only DAO participants can vote. For instance, I say yay, another one say, uh, says yay either, and it's in the process of voting uh, that uh, further uh, steps are decided. Well, most importantly, everyone is on par in the system. It can be role-based and is held by uh, the control token or uh, management token, uh, which is issued to uh, the participants of DL. You can pay for it, you can buy it. Uh, well, uh, with this governance token, uh, you get the share of votes that you need on a proportional basis. One more example. It happened once that a person decided to buy a basketball team. In your opinion, what's the biggest difficulty in buying a basketball team? No, nobody is going to sell it. Well, the biggest question mark is where to get money. A basketball team is expensive. Uh, there is a group of people. Uh, we decide to organize a company of like-minded people and based on a contract we start managing our basketball team. Uh, an example is Digat, it's a Solano-based uh, NFT project and uh, a, a DAO uh, was organized based on this project and its participants decided to buy a basketball team, Killers 3, they would sell their tokens and the DAO uh, became the owner of this team, they uh, could uh, apply their logos to their uniforms, they could manage the team. Now let's look at a number of most popular uh, DAOs. Oh, uh, well, uh, this is just a small list. It can be continued. Oh, well, as you remember, uh, DAO is a decentralized uh, structure. So let's assume we have one. Uh, the most popular uh, today is Maker DAO. Uh, you may have heard about USDP and USDT. Uh, they uh, manage a token or a coin uh, that is not controlled or managed by a centralized structure. There is no bank or other centralized institution. In this case, uh, the token uh, is solely controlled uh, by the community. Uh, when it is planned to introduce some changes to this project, they engage in voting, for which they have all the tools. They also have their storage, which is secured. They have their oracles. They have their uh, governance system. This project uh, emerged in 2014, even before Ethereum, and they've been developing since then. Uh, another and even more interesting example, the DAO, one of the first, 
and the really popular project. Uh, what's the point of this project? Uh, well, it was established in 2008. A team decided to launch a venture uh, foundation, venture fund, uh, where uh, money use would be decided based on voting. Within a period of uh, two months, they uh, amassed Earning $50 million, uh, those money, uh, uh, the money uh, was uh, blocked at their account. Then uh, the time came for them uh, to make the decision how to spend the money. However, the money was blocked, and they failed to uh, get access to it, and the money was stolen. You may remember that DAO is based on smart contract. There may have been an error in that contract, and they uh, failed to identify it on time. However, it was identified by one hacker. Who managed to take advantage of that? Tomorrow you will hear more uh, details about that. Well, uh, this is uh, one of the most prominent failure examples due to just one uh, error. Uh, well, uh, after that, the Ethereum community decided to uh, move everything to fork networks. Well, $150 million is quite a large amount of money. Oh, well, uh, they, there were people uh, who uh, did not agree uh, to keep on like that. So they switched to classical Ethereum, uh, which resulted in complete split up of the community. This project symbolizes the thing, uh, the fact that smart contracts and DAO does not warrant you against any uh, failures like this. No. Friends with benefits. What do they do? Uh, it's a kind of private club where you can buy something for a certain amount uh, between $300 and $350. People uh, gather on this platform, communicate with each other. In fact, they put in place their own decentralized social network. Speaking about DAO governance, how difficult is it to manage those things? It can be exemplified by projects like Aragon. It's a platform for the creation of uh, DAO, and you really don't need to write any code. It's a kind of constructor for DAO. Uh, you select your governance options and so forth. It's pretty easy uh, to build an interface, and with this tool uh, you can create your own DAO. I'll switch back for a while. DAO is not just a community, it's also a tool, a very specific one, which can be implemented in different ways. Why? Let's assume you have a project. With a problem, whatever, you need help. And possibly uh, you don't have followers or, or proponents among your friends, so uh, you start searching in the outer world, uh, but uh, you don't have people you know there. Uh, you take whatever you have, you organize a DAO, where you uh, post your enti uh, entire uh, code, and you uh, provide for uh, zero-level trust. Well, in fact, DL is a fundamental thing for the future concept. We have already mentioned decentralized societies, DSOCs. Uh, well, uh, DSOC uh, is something like what we mentioned before. For people who live in such environments, you have your tokens, you have your digital IDs, and uh, DO is the uh, second uh, key component. 
of such a community. You need a community uh, to be based on GL. The third part of it is the metaverse. Uh, Technology-wise, we are implementing our own world. And it is virtual. It allows your cells and communities to jointly create useful links and relationships and develop their intellectual potential at various levels. But we need this distribution. And it's based on the fact that in this community, each individual or a group of people are on par. And again, this helps to establish proper links, useful links, and ensure development. In fact, you uh, unite your group based on your skills and interests and goals. They can be different, varying from entertainment to money making and so forth. And uh, it's much easier uh, to find people uh, you need for uh, your intentions to come true in the world rather than in your region only. And for this, one of the uh, most interesting projects is ZNS. You have your domain, what are you? Uh, this is something similar. You take your address, which is not really nice. It can be substituted for a nicer one. It will be fully valid. This is how it looks. It can be any name, dot, ETH. The next one is the protocol uh, designed to uh, replicate all those connections. It's called LANS protocol. Let's assume we have a network in contact, for instance. Uh, for example, uh, you studied at a certain university or college, and DK uh, recommends you uh, your alumni mates. There are also popes, or proof of attendance protocol, uh, which is kind of tool uh, designed to prove that you have been somewhere. For example, here you are at this conference, you uh, can use this technology to use it as a proof that you have been here. Well, uh, wait a bit. Uh, there will be time for uh, questions. Uh, these are my links. Okay, let's go for your questions right now. Will you furnish the microphone, please? Yeah, thank you very much for your presentation. I wonder, uh, don't you think that if I is the uh, kind of uh, cow that we... Uh, Keep on milking. But it's important to understand how investors assess the uh, cost efficiency and usefulness of projects. And we should focus on uh, profitability uh, rather than uh, technology level. Uh, well, this is something you should always look at. Uh, but to do that, you have to uh, look at the status of the authors and creators. Are they public persons? How much they invested? Uh, do their investments pay back? No, my question is different. It was about ensuring volatility through selling and buying. Do you mean CFI and uh, token sales? Well, volatility is not created artificially. If you just transfer funds, uh, you are in their rares, in the negative. But that's not the only way it can be used. It's used for making money, for profits. Uh, well, uh, for this, the uh, pricing should be equalized and the load upon the network should be lower. Uh, how can this be achieved with people who are not acquainted, acquainted to each other? Look, if we take tons of polygons, the transactions are very cheap. It only takes you a fraction of a minute to uh, sign up and create your account. 
Как вариант. По крайней мере, заход в блокчейн все-таки не самый простой. То есть про вход... As you know, uh, the entry uh, to the world of blockchain is not the simplest thing. Are there any more questions? Thank you for your presentation. Don't you think that so-called DAOs actually delegate the responsibility to the community, removing it from their own shoulders? And should there be a failure, they'll say, look, it was your choice. We have nothing to do with that. It's up to you. Many projects that fail say, let's come up with DAO, you will be uh, governing it, everything will be centralized. In my opinion, it's become a trend. If initially uh, DAO was a good concept with advantages, but it still has its disadvantages, and the biggest one is that the responsibility is delegated in full. Speaking about responsibility, let's uh, get back to the theory of probability. If you have hundreds of thousands of participants, obviously those which are interested in the development of the project, they will vote how they think the project should develop. So your community will stimulate the correct decision, at least in their opinion. Obviously, DAO can fall, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's all about shifting responsibility. It's about the way for a company to be organized. It can be one person, it can be a board, it can be a big community. Question. But in fact, the picture is different. The majority of DAOs are not something that want to develop the project, they want just to make money. They want to influence this project. How do Many people just want to get a retro drop, for example. It's not even possible for them to have all the stakeholders to do things. answer. But this is what usually happens. DAO exists only for a few days. Unfortunately, this is how traders make money, the reality of blockchain. Question. Everybody remembers how Ethereum transitioned to proof of stake, but what happened to validators? Not everybody were fast enough to get a new protocol and the speed decreased by 90% for a few days. And Ethereum also dropped for a few percentage. And when we remember this, that the fees for transactions, the gas fees, sometimes are equal to the amount of money being transferred, especially when the load is very high. Don't you think that Ethereum days are counted? And I believe maybe there are better projects to live on. Answer. Speaking about the blockchain Ethereum, how long we would live, it has a lot of money until people would love more money from it. And clearly it could happen at any rate, but still it's easier to store cryptocurrency. Um, but there were many problems during the update. Yes, there were big problems, but they were not very prolonged in the period of time. So you think that the project will live on? Answer, yes, I think Ethereum will live on. Question. We have this DAOs, DAOs, as you mentioned, like a project, and an organization would require some resources. They need to get some servers, some websites. This has to be paid for. Where do they get this money for? Teaser account, Discord server. How do they get this initial money to actually organize this DAO? Answer, well, there are not so many tools you need to create a smart contract. For a person who created it, it's for free. You need to find a community. You can use a word of mouth. You can use Twitter. Twitter is a popular platform. And create a platform. And maybe you will find the community. You can become trendy. And I think it's pretty possible. 
question. So who will pay for the servers? Answer, it will not go there and be there indefinitely. DAO is not paid individually. Obviously, there are different ways, but it's not about one person paying for the whole. It's not about one giant sum of money to have DAO. Question. So somebody put something on Twitter and they decided to put their money together to pay for the server, to pay for the website. So this is how it happens. Answer. Yes, yeah, something like this, more or less. Question. So somebody would risk their money. Answer. Yes, they will risk, but they will have the share, they will share the same amount of authority and potential profit. Question. Yes, it's just initial costs. Even if it increases, you will pay only after the decisions are taken. You will pay only for the decisions, not for storing the information. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time for the questions, but I have to sum up and give the reward to the best question. But let us try DAO concept right here, right now. We will vote, we will upload to the people who you believe asked the most interesting questions. For example, please raise your hand if you ask a question. Three, three persons. Let's go one by one. What's your name? Nikolai. Nikolai. Please stand up. Maybe you forgot about the question, it doesn't really matter. You, as a community, you as a DAO, have to select who will get the prizes. Let's give a round of applause to Nikolai. Thank you. Да, Владимир. Пошел. Next is Vladimir. I believe you asked the question. Let us give a round of applause to Vladimir. Okay, it's a, a little bit louder. Eric, 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 Eric asked the next. We gave Eric a round of applause. Так, что скажет наш ведущий? What will our host tell us? Если правильно слышал. Are they the same? I believe that the second person got the most, got the most voices. And we had one of the validators who was very, very vocal when voting for the second person. Do we agree? I believe we agree, but will we order some pizza? Okay, so jokes aside, thank you, Ivan.